In today's video, I want to look at how we can remove distractions when we're typing in a web address or when we're doing a search. Let's look at an example. I'm going to click record to record my screen. And let's say I want you to go to a specific website. So I'll click in that area and I'll type the first character. Now, as I typed that first character, what are you looking at right now? Chances are you're looking at the different websites that came up when I typed that one character, A. And then what happens if I type a second character? Well, the list changes and you're probably looking at the other items that are here in the list. And what I wanna do is I wanna prevent people from getting distracted from whatever comes up in that list. All right, let's look at another example. If I go to Google and I wanna show somebody how to do something and I go here and I just click inside the search, I automatically see these things that pop up. These are the trending searches. And so what happens? You're looking at the list and you're wondering what these different things are about. And I don't want you to get distracted by that. And again, I'll begin to type something like how to, and as you're going through, you see you're looking at the list, right? Make videos. The way we're going to try and fix this is to freeze everything around the search so that we don't see those other items popping up. In other words, we just wanna show one sliver, one little rectangle of content as we're going through our video. So here's how we'll do that. Let's move the playhead to where we saw that search happening earlier. So it's right in this area here. I'll start my video at this point. For now, I'm just gonna trim everything so that I have my video beginning at this point. And I'm gonna drag that to the beginning of the timeline. So if I move my playhead to see where these searches begin, I can move my playhead and I see the trending searches beginning here. So I wanna go back just a little bit before those appear. All right, so right here. This is the point that I wanna freeze things. I don't want those searches to pop up. So what I'll do is make sure that that clip is selected and I'll press the S key on my PC or Command T on my Mac. I'm going to select this video and I'm gonna drag it up to track two. And I want to extend this last frame for the duration of the recording. So to extend this last frame, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key on my PC or Option on Mac, and I move my mouse cursor to the end and I see this symbol, and I can click and hold and drag to the right. If I move my playhead, I see nothing happening. Everything is completely frozen, and that's what I want. All I really want to do is reveal what's happening inside this rectangle. So I'm going to go over to my annotations. I'm going to find a shape that I wanna use, and I'll grab this rectangle that's here, and I'll drag it to the area where I want to see what's being typed. And I think it's gonna be something like this. Now, if I'm not sure, I'm gonna use the scroll wheel on my mouse to scroll up to zoom in to get this a little more exact. So I probably want this a little further to the left, maybe right about here. So it's this area that I want to see. Now, again, I'm gonna extend this to the end of the clip so that everything ends at the same time. And then all I have to do is I can right click this and choose alpha invert. And now as I play through this, I see the typing happening and nothing else changing on the screen. Everything else looks exactly the same. If you don't wanna use that option, I can take this back to none. And instead I can go to visual effects, grab the media mat effect, drag it down to that annotation, and then on the right, change it from alpha to alpha invert. And again, as I play through this, I just see the typing and nothing appearing below. Of course, I could do the same thing for the address bar. If I wanted to, I could put the block in the upper left and then it would hide any of my history and we wouldn't see that whenever I was typing in an address. So if there are things going on on the screen that might distract your viewers, consider removing those by creating a mat and only showing whatever's behind that mat. To see more Camtasia tips like this, be sure to subscribe and check out cammastery.com where I have courses that go even deeper into learning Camtasia. I'm Ron, thanks for watching.